Good morning. 25th January 2023. I hope you know that tonight's Robbie Burns night, so get you out your tatties and your neeps. I've got a scoop. I haven't had one for a while. I've got Richie Nobsack. Morning. I'm going to ask him some questions. I've had some questions sent in, and I'm going to ask him some morning, proper John. questions. Morning, Richie. Thanks for inviting me along. No problem, no problem. Let's get straight into questions, because I haven't got a lot of time to stand about here with you. When you became Prime Minister, you said you would have a government of integrity and honesty. Where's all that gone? Well, to be honest, John, uh, <laughs> <laughs> honest being the, only, the, the key word, yeah. Well, I've no, no, uh, I've no uh, doubts about any of my uh, MPs. They're all on board. They're all as honest as can be, and the integrity is intact. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely, lovely. So your 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 integrity is different to anybody else's. We're all we're all with the party law and order, John. Right, right. Second question: Why haven't you psyched Nadim as a Howie? I'll tell you for why, John. Because uh, Nadim is a, uh, not only is, a, is the chair of the Conservative Party, he's a he's a very very honest uh, honest mm -hmm. man, and uh, and I know he's had some uh, some affair, uh, affairs trouble with his tax. Like I mean, it's not his fault. It's his accountants. His accountants have not sorted it. So. Had it been uh, Nadine's fault, we'd have certainly got rid of him, but it's his accountant, so we need to go. Do you know if he'd have done that in his country origin, what he's done, he'd have hung him, you know that, don't you? My, that's a bit strong, John. It's, it's right, it's right. Is that what they would have done to him? Yes, yes, yes. Did you did you get fined for not wearing a seatbelt? Oh, well. Did you? No, no. Well, oh, you didn't get fined? No, you know, I mean, the government and the police, we work together, and so... We just tell the uh, peasants what they need to hear, but between me and you, no, we don't. Oh, That's yeah. quite a fine, isn't it? Right, then, what are we going to do about this cost of living crisis? Because it's getting worse, I'll isn't tell it? you what people have got to do. People have got to knuckle down and work harder. If me be, get another job. Uh, you can't keep your land on government handouts to get you through, and we're not going to be paying your utility bills and helping for much longer with that, and all. We can't afford to do with that. Oh, right, 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 right. What do you think about these strikes, what's going off then? Because I think there's going to be a general strike soon. Well, I, I hope there isn't, John, because I'll tell you, so people who strike, if they don't provide any money, <coughs> we will sack them. We'll All sack right, them. you're going to yeah. sack people. You're clapping yeah. them in October. Yeah. Well, that will last October. We're going to be sacking them. We can replace them with, uh, oh, right. with lesser paid workers. What's, uh, what's your plans for NHS, then? Are we going to have one? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, as you know, John, this, uh, it's a money pit, the NHS. My plan is uh, to privatise it within two years. And, uh, and then we can crack on with them 40 new hospitals, what we promised to build, because uh, the people who use the facilities will be paying for them. Oh, they'll be and private hospitals, will they? Private hospitals, yeah. And I'll tell you something, uh, you'll need some good insurance to get seen to. There'll be no free prescriptions, free eye tests for the pensioners, no uh, no free treatment. That, all them days have gone, you've had it too easy. Right, right, right. Right, and, and what's your opinion on the Boris uh, Johnson's latest scandal then? He's, he's, he seems to be raising his ugly head quite a lot, don't he? Well, to be fair to Boris, he, he, he's a key member of our government, as you well know, John, former Prime Minister. He's got an awesome relationship with uh, Zelensky in, uh, in Ukraine. I mean, if it wasn't for him, Russia would have flattened Ukraine. Now, he's single-handedly... Uh, help stop it, and uh, mm -hmm. I can't speak highly enough of, of him. I know, mm -hmm. you know, I know you, you, you're insinuating about the eight hundred thousand pound loan he had, but the call in alone cost really it was a gift. You know, he's not going to pay it back. They know he's not. He would have loaned. He needed that to help him tie it over. He couldn't manage on his wages, mm -hmm. so instead of getting another job, he got a loan. And I said, okay, I suggest all you peasants get a loan. Get alone if you can't get another job. Because here, yeah, don't forget to put the seatbelt on. Wakey, oh, wakey! My, my.